Notice that Grave still has a cigar on the wiki page. Finally, some fairness for this guy. Sign the petition. Anyway, to counter him, pick someone like Evelyn for her surprise burst factor, Vi for her immense CC and stickiness, or even Elise for her rappel to dodge most of his stuff, and Spiderlings to prevent him from autoing and eventually rage quitting. Nocturne for his fear tether, Amumu for his tankiness, and Aatrox because he just won't stay down make other good counters too. Graves' passive is basically the way his autos work. Essentially, he fires 4 pellets in a cone that knocks non-champion enemies back a short distance. Crits fire 6 pellets in a wider cone area. They also strike the first enemy hit, and in this case, even turrets can block autos. He only has 2 shells on his gun, having to reload every time he's out of autos. His Q fires around in a target direction that explodes again after a short delay, or instantly if it hits terrain. His W is a smoke screen that nearsights enemies, and also slows them if they're standing on it. His E is a dash that resets his auto timer and also adds 1 shell to his gun. And this ability's cooldown gets reduced per pellet hitting an enemy, and it also adds the true grit stack that grants him bonus armor. What an unnecessary complicated stacking thingy. Oh well, his ultimate makes him fire a huge burst out of his gun that recoils him in the opposite direction, and after hitting a single enemy champion or reaching the end of its range, it will explode again for 80% of the original damage. You'll almost definitely find him in the jungle, in which case he'll take the flash smite combo, and so probably will you. And finally, in terms of power spikes, he has a slow start, but an exceptional mid game, and still stands his ground pretty firmly in the late game. His level 3 allows for some pretty good ganking opportunities, but level 6 usually grants him that last bit of damage he really needs. He can actually get that little bit of damage he needs before level 6 if he's stacked with Dark Harvest, if that rune hasn't changed by the time you're watching this. Warrior enchantment makes his ganks a lot scarier once he's finished it, and Storm Razor will make his autos hit for a lot more, provided that he can even hit you with them. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, his auto attack range is pretty low, so try to stay far away from him and kite away, try to leave his smoke screen as soon as possible even if you're fighting him 1v1, and he can use his ultimate as an escape as well as a finisher. Ultimately, have fun doing it!